plantly punk with a chop and seizing his head in a vice grip. Beth Phoenix would come out to actually eliminate Carly, but that just allowed Punk to take out both Phoenix and an on the scene Zack Ryder, and then continued to crack wise with his sermon. He was so damn good and having so much fun that the crowd, almost despite themselves, began chanting his name. Hey guys, what is up? It is currently 8:18 so p.m. I just wanted to see it go the whole time. Sorry, I'm starting my next vlog, and I will see you soon. Good night. What is up? It is currently 8.54 p.m. I'm heading to bed. I'm exhausted. So, yeah, I will see you in the morning. What is up? It is currently 15 a.m. I'm awake. I don't want to be, but I'm awake. On July 8th, 2002, a match took place pitting Trish and Bradshaw versus Jackie Gator and Krista Winsky. Oh, shoot. It was ready for terrible. Sport. It's not really Go Jackie's eat. fault. She'd just come off tough enough. She was green as hell. Yeah. And Trish wasn't yet as good as she could be. And it was just botch after botch after botch. It was a bad day at the office for everyone. Ex Buck, then the 123 Kid, and Shawn Michaels. They were a big group of influential bezies. On May 19th, 1996, at a house show in Madison Square Garden, Scott Hall and Kevin Nash were both resting their last matches for the company before leaving for WWE. WCW. It felt disgusting, but we used to take the snow off the, our blades, and that's the only way we could ever get any water. So I come up with a great idea. You know, I was the guy that come up with the how to keep the beer cold. So I come up with a great idea. How can we get some water? Aha! Says I. I see the water ball sitting there. So now I get it's a bag. It was a bag, eh? I know there was ice in it. So I loosen it up, and I take a sip of it, not a lot, because I was in my mind not to drink, do it up, and I pass along to the guy. Well, this went along pretty good during the games, and we're just a little sip, just a winner. <laughs> the coach, I believe it or not, this is a true story, believe it or not, when he saw us taking a little sip out of the water bag, he put hot stuff in the water bag so we wouldn't drink it. That is a true story. 26 years we heard about it, and the first guy I ever saw, because the Russians did it, was Jimmy McKinney. He played for us in Rochester. He can get cold. I think he got great, but he had the whole thing. Straight down to Don Mills at that point. You're forced off the southbound DVP. It is closed from Don Mills to Bayview Bloor. Truck rollover. Emergency crews on the scene tending to that. On the northbound side, there are delays approaching Dundas to north of Bayview Bloor. Left lane blocked by emergency crews tending to that southbound problem and a collision as well that was on the northbound side. Now, if you're traveling on routes paralleling the southbound DVP, they're heavy. Southbound Leslie through Exit. 99, and you'll get your lunch in 15 minutes or it's free. That means less time waiting and more time eating. Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings, beer, sports. Valid for tables of six or less Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. for dining. Well, he doinked the wife of Yamaguchi-san, manager of Kayentai, who were Japanese, but WWE didn't really make a big deal out of that much. They kidnapped Val and, in revenge for his penile transgression, strung him up and tried to choppy-choppy his pee-pee with a samurai sword, which is, you know, pretty vengeful. Thankfully, Val was saved by a blackout and well-timed shrinkage. No, actually. Number seven, the supermarket brawl. Hey guys, what is up? In Spirit I don't have enough footage, so I will I'm going to watch this too, but I'm going to chill tonight. I'm probably going to draw for a bit, so yeah. A living hell. He kicked his ass in a bingo hall, ambushed him in a church, but the best revenge segment was the one in the supermarket. It's so itchy. Allergies suck. In Chris Benoit, The Rock, Triple H, knocked out numerous belters with each man. However, a future Hall of Famer that he wrestled a mere one time 
the animal Batista. And this wasn't one of those before he was famous jobs. This was in 2005, while Batista was world heavyweight champion. It was for the goddamn belt, and it lasted two minutes for ending on a DQ. Lovely stuff. Triple H and Ric Flair ran into cause of disqualification, so Eric Bischoff did his best Teddy Long and made an impromptu tag team match player. Angle and Trips versus Batista and Shawn Michaels. Kurt was gone from the company the next year, with Angle versus Batista never getting a second chance. Number nine, The Rock versus Eddie Guerrero. With Eddie's passing, he left a lot of dream matches unrealized in WWE. Eddie versus Michaels, Eddie versus Punk, maybe even Eddie versus Daniel Bryan somewhere down the line. But at least we got Eddie Guerrero versus The Rock. Back in 2002, one day removed from Rock winning the Undisputed Championship at Vengeance 2002, he took to Raw to celebrate when La Rocca was interrupted by Latino Heat, who was cross at him because his daughters had a picture of The Rock on their wall. I'm with the X-Men of parents. Walkers. Good luck here, and I will see you soon. Bye!